Did I survive? No. So my month breakdown went like this. The first weekend of November, I had Anime Pasadena. The weekend after that was AX Chibi. And then the weekend after that was Anime NYC. And that's only conventions. This doesn't count travel days, my partner going out of town, flying out from California to New York, and us driving up to his family's house for Thanksgiving. Quick note about this camera that I bought. It's the DG camera that was marketed on TikTok as, oh, if you're shy, you should get this. And it looks perfect for that. But because it's so small and not like normal camera shaped, I felt even more anxiety pulling it out because then people will look and be like, oh, what's that? Anyways. <laughs> The first of my back-to-back -back conventions was Anime Pasadena. I shared with my friend Sleepy Fortress, and a good thing about this con is that it's pretty local for me, so I was very chill about it. Because this convention was local to the both of us, we did set up the day before, and we got some food before making our way over. This is how our table looked the day before. Uh, we're missing a couple of things, because we were leaving at the time, so we didn't put our full display out just so that people don't steal. But uh, yeah, this is usually how we set it up. We uh, split the booth in half and have different color uh, cute panels to really distinguish ourselves from each other because people still think that we are the same artist despite our styles in my opinion being wildly different. So I made a TikTok about this but I like the back of my booth to be organized so here with my postcards I bought these little photo cases from Amazon, labeled them, and put two designs in each. So whichever print I need to grab I just flip it up or down to grab. And then for larger prints, I got one of those priority boxes from the post office, reinforced it, and then made little dividers for each design so I can just grab and go. For my stickers, I got this stackable paper case from Daiso and cut out a bunch of cardboard to make little dividers for all my stickers. Then I added labels that match what I have on display because sometimes I step out and a friend or my partner has to find stuff for a customer, but they might not know what the character is. So just to make it easy for them, I gave them each a number and a letter. This is me and Sleepy Fortress talking about Anime NYC display plans, and then a customer comes up. And we're doing this because we are actually sharing a table at Anime NYC, so we took this like time to plan out what we wanted to do or what we might want to do. I don't know, I just like this clip because I like when a customer comes up, we turn on our customer service mode, and you can see how awkward I am. So it's Thursday. One day before a setup for AX Chibi, and I went and got these things printed. And I'm going to use these as my signage. Um, I made them on Canva, which actually... I use Canva to like plan out my display for cons, because I use grids usually. Because I don't want to carry around the giant metal poles, because usually flying out is really annoying with those. So for AX Chibi, I planned out this uh, display. And then I have all of my artwork and stickers and posters and sticker sheets and all that stuff all in Canva so I can just drag it on and I can kind of plan out how I want everything to look. So the things I just got printed from CVS actually, I got, it's these things right here because because right after this con, I go straight to Anime NYC and I am sharing that, so that's why it's not a full display, it's only half, because I'm sharing it with my friend uh, Sleepy Fortress, buddy old pal. Now I'm only bringing a little bit of the box displays that I usually do, because we're going to have pulls for that, so that's my plan for that, and hopefully that goes well. Yeah, I got these little top loaders from Daiso, and they're going to be for my display. Hello, Looney. So just a quick thing about me. This is empty? Is it empty? Oh, it's not. But one thing about me is that if I am going to a convention, if it doesn't fit in a suitcase, I'm not bringing it. I don't want to deal with boxes, like, ever. So this has all the display, like the boxes, the box grid setup, and then everything in here is like the merch and the prints and the stickers and all that stuff. I'm pretty excited for AX Chibi. Not for the con. There is a Rainforest Cafe in Ontario, which is the only one in California. And I have been wanting to go ever since I watched the YouTube video of that one dude who went to every single Rainforest Cafe in the country. So I've been asking all my friends who are going if they want to come with me. And I hope it's a big group. I want to experience this with a lot of friends. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And that's probably what I'm most excited for. It's the day before AX Chibi. 
the first day. And I'm reading a lot of stuff on the Artist Alley Discord about how uh, it seems like none of the staff knows when it actually ends and checking in seems to be like a hassle and parking and uh, they seem to have not given the proper tables for certain people and I'm super stressed because I'm setting up the day be or I'm setting up day of in the morning and I only have an hour and 30 or so to set up so I'm I'm stressed I'm I'm not ready the morning I left, my cat was being so cute, but setup was actually very chill and I feel like I always stress out super hard the day uh, before any event and then it's usually super chill day of. I didn't film much because I'm a very shy person and as I mentioned before, I feel like yes, this camera is small and in theory sounds great for shy vloggers, but because it's small, it draws attention, so I feel like I just need to get used to that. It's Hello! Talk! Look! So I've stayed at this hotel before and I totally think it's haunted. And it's kind of why I wanted to stay here again. And I'm being quiet because I feel like everyone can hear me. But do look at this shit. The wallpaper. next morning it's uh it's 9 p.m and i'm gonna go and find a starbucks and then walk over to my table i came back last night after dinner at the rainforest cafe which was a lot of fun i just like basically took a shower and went straight to sleep because i was tired and it was great because I wake I'm uh woke up now and I feel great. I'm not tired. But I want coffee, so I'm gonna go find that. I'm gonna take this moment of me eating my cold leftovers from Rainforest Cafe to say that I had a lot of fun this convention. It's my first sorta more notable convention that I did completely solo. And I met a lot of people who I've only known online. Um, but I also saw a lot of old friends. I went to the fucking Rainforest Cafe finally. That was so much fun. And other than the hotel situation, uh, I knew what I was going into and what I was paying for, but I would definitely do it again. Freaking did it. I put all display, all poster, postcards, charms, stickers, sticker sheets, everything fits in one check-in suitcase. I'm so happy about that. I don't want to bring any more than this because I have to deal with 12 boxes of desk mats. I think they're about like this big, but they I've already sent it over there. But I gotta, we got to find a way to drag all that into the artist alley on freaking Friday. So I'm super happy with this, that this is just one suitcase. Holy, I am stressed. I'm stressed. Hello. Hello, baby. So I flew in Tuesday before the weekend of the con. And because I'm from New Jersey, my parents actually just picked me and my friend who went with me uh, up from the airport. And so we got dinner. And then the following morning, uh, Sleepy Fortress came with another friend and I picked them up from the airport. And then all these crazy Californian natives wanted to walk around in the cold ass East Coast air. So we did that. And then they suggested that we walk to the nearest Duncan, which was on an active road. And they enjoyed walking outside so much, I don't understand. Afterwards, we ended up splitting up, me staying home in New Jersey that night, while they went into Manhattan to check into our hotel and dick around in the city for a bit. But that night, me and my dad, we went and got a U-Haul for all my boxes of desk mats that I sent out of Delusion, and just for general convention stuff for me and Sleepy Fortress. And then the next morning, me and my dad woke up at 5 a.m. to the Javits Center. I'm at the Javits Center, and I think I'm like the only artist here. Wow. 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 
just want to say that the load-in process for the Javits Center is amazing. We got there pretty early so there was no line, but they were just like, yeah, park right in front of the doors, uh, take out your stuff onto this pallet, tell me your table, and we'll bring it all over for you. It was truly beautiful. Wow. Wow. I think like an hour later, Sleepy Fortress got in after helping out another friend and we started setting up, finished, and that took no time, so we started walking around a bit to see the rest of the hall. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a snippet of how the booth looks uh, from behind. This is where footage gets choppy and few. Because I woke up super early and was stressed, uh, by the end of the day, I was dying. I had a huge headache and I think it was from lack of food and exhaustion, so I didn't film like anything. By this point, I was pretty tired. As I was saying before, I, I was getting gradually sicker and sicker every day, but because I grew up pretty close to Manhattan, uh, a lot of old childhood, high school, and even old convention friends came by to say hi, and it was so nice seeing them. But then for dinner, the girls wanted to try White Castle, and I've never had Jollibee, so we got both in a beautiful combination. I thought Jollibee was alright. By Sunday, I was dead, physically and mentally. By the show's end, I had sold 6 of the 12 boxes that I had delusionally ordered, which in my opinion was fine. Shipping them back wasn't that big of an issue, and since this was the biggest show I've ever done, uh, I had no idea what to expect, but I'm definitely happy with what I did. That night, I went to dinner with my parents, I stayed home again, and then the next morning, I was dropped off at the airport to go back home to California. It's currently December 9th, so I've had like two weeks to recuperate. Uh, after the month of November because I was super dead. But yeah, I would totally do it again. The people I met, the friends I made, uh, the stuff I did with my friends throughout the month, uh, plus money. That's great. I love money to live. I started taking conventions more seriously towards the end of this year. It's been a ride, but I'm enjoying it so far. I have one more event uh, for 2023, and that's Holiday Matsuri. That's in Florida. Um, and then right after that, it's the first week of January is Anime Los Angeles, which I'm going to be with Sleepy Fortress again. And I think I'm going to try vlogging those two because Holiday Matsuri, because it's in Orlando, me and my partner, we're going to fly in a couple days earlier and we're going to go to Disney and like Universal. So that'll be fun. Also, um, it's in Florida, which is across the state from California. It's basically an Anime NYC part two, but I have no idea what to expect from that, so... And then ALA seems like a fun thing to vlog because it's four days long, which is like basically a week. And I'll be with friends, so I think there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff to uh, record. But yeah, that's like basically it. If you made it this far, thanks. Bye.